Minecraft 1.21 release date is getting closer and closer. But what are all the new things we know about 1.21 so far? First, we know that the winner of the 2023 mob vote, the Armadillo, is getting added. The Armadillo is a small and neutral mob that gets scared really easily by mobs or players that are sprinting. It rolls up into looking like a small cube. But the coolest part is that you can breed them by using a spider eye and then they drop you armadillo scutes. This can be used to craft wolf armor or should I say dog armor. Finally, my dogs will have more protection, which I really like. And they just recently added the option to color dog armors with every die. But what's even cooler is that they added 8 new types of wolves, all having different looks. They can be found from different biomes, for example the black wolf can be found in the old growth spruce taiga, striped wolf in wooded badlands and so on. These new wolf variants are the most amazing update ever, since who doesn't like minecraft dogs? Then the new update is going to add a ton of new blocks by giving us new block variants. First from copper, you will be able to craft copper doors, copper trap doors, copper bulbs, copper grate and chisel copper. These are making the old blocks more useful and to be honest I really like that since I didn't find that many uses for copper blocks before. But these are not the only new block variants. We are also getting tough stairs, tough slabs, tough wall, chisel tough, polish tough and tough bricks. So another block gets a huge upgrade. It was another one that I constantly drew away. Thanks Mojang for doing that. But why don't we still have the smooth stone stairs? Hmm? But what we are getting is a whole new structure. The trial chamber. This is made out of the new copper and tough blocks. And I gotta say, it looks awesome. This new structure can be found anywhere in the overworld. Which means you should be able to spot it on the ground quite often. When entering the trial chamber, you find beautiful corridors with high ceilings. In those corridors, you can also find chests, barrels and decorated pots, which all contain some loot. And surprisingly, there are so many of them in every room. It also has many staircases and different sized rooms, but even hidden rooms that require some digging to access. But in the big rooms, you have the next new thing, the trial spawners. These spawners are unique, since they can spawn all kinds of different mobs. You can identify what mobs are getting spawned by the blocks that are next to the spawner. For example, moss block will spawn slimes, packed ice means it spawns strays and so on. This is a good way to identify how dangerous this room is. But there is also a new boss mob called Breeze. And its spawner can be identified by the chiseled tuff being around it. The breeze has 15 full hearts and deals 0.5 to 1.5 hearts of damage. You will be hit with many wind charges, which will bounce you around. He is not too hard to kill though, but once you start the fight, there will not only be a breeze, but also waves of other mobs, because there are many spawners in each room. The amount of waves you will have depends on the number of players nearby. I feel like this is designed so you and your friends can have a lot of fun time fighting here. There are also a lot of dispensers on the walls, filled with items like arrows, fire charges, potions, water buckets and so on. These are here to help you or they can also work against you. It basically depends on your luck, since the breeze will start clicking the buttons with its attack. During the waves you will have to kill multiple breezes and they will drop the wind charge items. These are the new items and can be used to throw away wind charge yourself or put them into dispensers and throw them from there. This can be used to bounce away mobs, click buttons or bounce yourself up into the air, giving you the ability to do pretty cool parkour. But going back to the trial chamber, once you have completed all the waves with the breezes, the spawners will eject different useful items or a special new item called the trial key. Then the spawners go into a cooldown for 30 minutes. But that's only for these spawners. Just find the next room in the trial chamber and your next battle can begin instantly. But what can you do with those new trial keys? In the same room where you find the spawners, you can also find the new vault blocks. 
The vaults are very similar to the spawners by their looks. And only once you have gotten the trial key, you can use it to unlock the vault. And you will get some more loot. But this will consume your key. So you will lose it. Some of the best loot you can get are items like enchanted books, diamond axe, diamond chestplate, just diamonds, or even an enchanted golden apple. But I hope that in the official release, we will have even more rare items, like netherite, or maybe even a smithing template. And in multiplayer, each player can open one vault once, so you can watch who gets the best loot out of your friends. I even made the Minecraft 1.21 snapshot available on my hosting site wisehosting.com, so you can test all the cool unreleased features with your friends. Just host the server on Wise Hosting, then on your game panel select the newest snapshot and finally enable the experimental features. You are done and ready to play. I also made a special discount code snapshot, so you can save 25% on the first month on Wise Hosting. But let's get back to the updates. 1.21 will give us one more new mob, called the Bogged. This is basically a swampy looking skeleton with some more changes. It obviously looks different and instead of regular arrows, it shoots arrows with the poison effect. The Bogged naturally spawns in the swamps and mangrove swamps, where I do think it fits in the best. But it can also be one of the mobs spawning in a trial chamber. The poison effect is not for long though, so the Bogged is not a hard to kill mob. What I am even more excited for in 1.21 is the new block crafter, which is for auto crafting items. The crafter itself can be crafted like this. When opening the crafter, it looks exactly like the crafting table. But here you can choose what slots you want to block. So for example, if you want to auto craft chests, you will block off the middle slot. And now when we input planks through this hopper, it will fill up only these slots. And to get a crafting, give it a redstone signal, like placing down a lever and just flicking it. The crafter opens its mouth and spits out a chest. It's pretty cool. But simple items like chests, I feel like those can be crafted faster by just doing them manually. But I do see a good use for crafters, especially in farms that are producing a lot of items. You can compact items by crafting them into blocks. Like in the gold farms you can make gold blocks, iron farms for iron blocks and so on. But that is not all with the crafter. You can use it to craft any crafting recipe, even if it has different items. You just gotta input the items in the right order, which can be done with droppers and different redstone delays, just like this. As you can see, it has a pattern on how the items go into the crafter. Or people like Raceworks have already made simple auto crafter systems that work with items that have 3 components or less. And that is actually 99% of all the crafting recipes. And that means I finally can automate the crafting of dispensers. I don't think you realize how happy this makes me. The crafter will give us a lot of new opportunities in farms and storage rooms when the 1.21 version comes out. And yes, the crafter can be crafted by using the crafter. That is a true craftception. I really like the things coming in 1.21, although Mojang has time to add even more stuff. And if you would like to test the snapshot with your friends, then remember to check out Wise Hosting and host the server with your friends by using the discount code SNAPSHOT. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.